Hi, my name is Findimus, and in this video we're going to be learning the HTML5 elements. Up until now we've been doing HTML. Now we're doing HTML5. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. And let's begin. HTML5 introduces more descriptive HTML tags. These include main, header, footer, nav, video, article, section, and others. These tags give a descriptive structure to your HTML, make your HTML easier to read, and help with search engine optimization. SEO and accessibility. The main HTML5 tag helps search engines and other developers find the main content of your page. Example usage. A main element with two child elements nested inside it. This is the main element here and then you have uh, h1 and a p element. Note, many of the new HTML5 tags and their benefits are covered in the applied accessibility section. I'm not sure exactly where that section is, but we will go through and I'm sure find it through the end of this course that we're all taking together. I'm learning here alongside with everyone else. Create a second P element after the existing P element with the following kitty ipsum text. Then create a main element and nest two P elements inside the main element. These, those are the uh, objectives for this challenge. So we'll scroll down to the objectives and we'll knock them out one by one. You should have two P elements with kitty ipsum text. So right now we only have one. And we're going to go ahead and make a second one. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and create these, these two P open and close for the elements forward slash P bracket, I believe. And then I'm going to move over and copy this paragraph, this sentence. Control C, Control V, just copy and paste. Um, command C, Command V, I believe works for Apple users. And then normally if I was coding, I would save this. It's like Control S, but there's nothing really to save because there's no file. This is just a code editor embedded within the web page, but it's something to keep in mind that I'm used to. For okay. You know, don't want to lose your work. Each of your P elements should have a closing tag. And that's this one and this one. Your P element should contain the first few words of the provided kitty of some text. We've done that. Your code should have one main element. Okay, so we need to make a main element. The opening main tag should come before the first paragraph. So that means here after the H2, we're going to create a main and I don't remember how to do that, so I'm going to go back up. And you can see it's the same way, main main with a bracket to close it. So we'll do main inside the two brackets. And then I believe we're supposed to do both paragraphs. The closing main tag should come after the second closing paragraph tag. So underneath the second 
paragraph will create a main closing tag and we'll run the test and that completes the objectives for this challenge <laughs> helm warp 9 engage thank you for watching everybody oh make sure you submit so you don't lose your work so don't forget to submit I'll take us to the outro thank you for watching if you feel this video was helpful or you liked it then click the like button if you want to see more content like this then subscribe and if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I am Finimus, and I will see you later. Have a good day, everybody.